Hey, what is up, guys? This is DMC Gaming here, and welcome to Lords of the Fallen. When I got my Xbox One, this was one of the first games I got with it, and I really love this game. Uh, just to get you to show you how much I've played it, I have two save files. One as a character that uh, pretty much is a massive tank, and that one I haven't really played as so. We will be starting a new game, overwriting that save file, because I can't remember what that one was. Yeah, if I... Oh, okay. So, I will be... Magic Types, Brawler, Deception, Solace. Well, I'll go with Brawling. Uh... Da -da -da. Rogue, Warrior, Cleric, Brawler. Hang on, so what's that one the execute? That's the Outlaw. Um, yeah, it's that just pure Warrior. I think. Yeah, I'll go with that. And I want, because I started the game with the Warrior last time, I think I will go with... Yeah, I'll just go with this. Um, yep. That's fine for me. Harken. To be fair, from the sound of that, it sounds like a really cool name. Just Harken. And as usual, I am going to be keeping my gob shut during cutscenes, and... I think there's only a couple cutscenes where there's people talking during them. So, yeah, this game, I just love it. I had so much fun with this. Fallen God, creator and destroyer of worlds, hear my vow. <laughs> And I think that's a bit loud, so I mean to turn that down a bit. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Harken with a badass mace. Hear my vow. My vow of defiance! Now if I remember rightly, there isn't any spell in the game where you can do that. And kapow. And oh my god, I can't remember what it's called. Heard me. I think it's called the hand of a deer or something? Not quite sure. Can't remember. The Hand of God Mountains. Yeah, that's it. Yay. Excuse me, sorry about that, guys. Either way, our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. Boom, kick down the door. Hmm. To be fair though, I think it is a option to put the mask back on. Well headpiece. It's quiet. Caslo! Hello. Even for a monastery. Hold on. Use your wizardry powers. To light up the place 
and show the dead corpses. And a dude that's still alive. <laughs> Now, if I remember rightly, when I first fought him or something, okay. Do you know I could have done with the tutorial because I can't quite remember how to. Right, so there's me block. Well, there's a backstab. And you're dead. Yeah, I can't rem remember if it was the f this first one that I killed and I'd got a... Not all enemies are Rogar, but all have their own behavior patterns. For example, some of them are blind. So this one might is blind. And this looks like it's a chest, which it is not. Two-handed. And dead. Hmm. Hang on, so is there an option for me to put me, keep me mask on? Uh, sh but looks of it, no there isn't. So that's fine. And dead. And off to a great start where the Oh, hey up, hey up. And you're dead. Okay, well, that was a <laughs> that was a good combo. If I remember rightly, there is a shield charge you can do. As I will test in this bit. This guy. And yes, there is. So I remember correctly. And jump attack. It is in me. And it is changing me. My skull. The bones are moving. Growing. Does not feel okay. like poison okay. in my veins. Oh, yep. More like There's a guy there. Liquid darkness. We have seen with others what happens <laughs> next. Eyesight goes first. Then follows sanity. Then follows Brother sanity. Brother and I the disease Boom. That goes you. The fires on the horizon. Yeah, I'm just picking up those notes because I think. I beg you. Be careful. There's some Something benefit to picking them up. I'm not quite sure. Always seek refuge here. Yeah, monster. if you're wondering how I'm. Whatever happens. Uh, if you've been noticing, please. The little flashes in the be safe. Corner where my stamina bar is. That is when I perfectly attack. That's when I attack at the right time. And yep, hold X to use my health potions. I just thought, I'm not sure how much XP I've got. Auto chair. Uh, so I have 601 XP. Right. Just to explain, in, in case you don't know, these things that's in front of me now, these will only open up once you've beaten a certain boss. So in this case, this would be the first boss. Oh, so that's a backstab. Okay, bit of a dodgy camera angle. And dead. Uh, okay, you didn't drop, drop me your Marauder Axe. Energy Shard. Uh, not really anything here. Let's talk to Kazlo. I found a key. What are you waiting for? Open the door. I could use some help. Yeah. Yeah, this might be useful. 
Uh, what have you just given me? These things keep coming. We fight back, but there are too many of them. It is sickening to see them move. Their limbs twist and hmm. turn in ways they're not supposed to. And their smell. It's like fire and death creeping up your nose. One of the creatures we were fighting. Aha, uh -huh, secret area. The saliva hit my eye. It burned, and it burns deeper into me. Jump! Can I open the door? Nope, I cannot. So unfortunately, I must drop. And continue onward. So let's open the door. Yay! Do you know what? I'm not actually sure if I've got a spell or not. And as you can tell, something's obviously happening. Good <laughs> yell. And there's the first boss. Which I think is called the first warden. Not entirely sure. Hey, it's a good thing I blocked then. Uh, no, I do not have a spell yet. God damn it. Swing at him. Okay, roll, roll, roll. Defo, roll away. Uh, heal. Okay. Come on. Okay. It's magic energy shard. Ooh, hello. That was a bit painful. <laughs> okay, this is getting a bit painful. Oh, hey, oh, sorry, wrong button. I wanted this screen. Uh, consumables. Toggle favorite. Loads of damage off. Jump! Smack! Oh god, no! Okay. Wow, that's actually quite a bit of damage there. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, okay. Not what I was expecting there. The funny thing is, though, with him just constantly losing armor, he does get... take more and more damage. Ah, oh, goddammit. Health low. New shield. Nope, I don't exactly fancy dying right now. Do you know what? I think I've just used something completely wrong. Aha! Right. Okay, I 
No, I need to run away from that attack. Right, swing at him! Yay, it's the ballerina move again, as I call it. <laughs> Running jump attack. Woohoo! So he's that. Bring it. Jump attack. Yes, got him. Ha <laughs> ha. Eat that. So that is the first boss defeated, and luckily, without dying. Never really understood what that symbolizes. First Warden defeated! And he's dropped an item. One of those lords Kazlo keeps talking about. And I have got the persistence. I'm used to playing Dark Souls, uh, which is a great sword. I need 15 strength for it, and I have 9. Uh, yes, I would like to bank my experience. Now, I know how to do, I know how to do it. Leave me alone. Uh, bank some into me spells. Uh, some more attributes. So, 1 into strength. Uh, one into prayer. So that will be... Uh, da, 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 it will regen health over time. I think when I first played this, I went with the Solace tree. Uh, prayer on that tree got me... If I remember correctly, it regen mana over time. So I'll just show off the spell. Pretty much, this is it. To me, it looks like a Sau bit like Sauron, but however, it does, if you can see, just slowly boost my health back up. And if I use that, full health, and gives me my potions back. Now. Right, so there's one of these guys over here. No, I don't need directions. But there goes you. Ah, da da da! I turn. Vanishing the god. The three men that were known as the judges parted ways forever. Apart from their common goal, they were very different in every possible way. Three statues were built for them on the square of the judge. Alright, okay, so this one shield does not have 100% block. hold a secret as if it were their heart, but it is retained by the stone. Only the shard of heroes could make that heart beat. And only an unearthly force could tear it out. Smack! Smack! Ow! Ow! Okay, let's quickly use prayer. The other good thing about prayer is that they, sh the enemies, should go for it. Which allows me to backstab him. Uh, I think there's a... Ch yep. Aha, right, so there is a guy back here. And you're dead. Keep an eye on your environment. There are multiple ways that a room, that a room can stay hidden to a careless man. I've just picked up the monk staff. To be honest, I think I will actually go with staffs. 
because I've never really tried them before. And it attacks pretty damn fast. Forces much longer. We must find a place to hide. A place with walls and soldiers, mighty Antanas. We will be on our now. If I can run them correctly, aha! Refugees. <laughs> there was an item back here. Sell a small key. No, thank you. I remember that thing. That thing did kill me quite a bit. Uh, when I, f um, I didn't find it when I first started. I think it was. When I started again, I found it, because I'd accidentally crashed into it. Northern Monastery Wing Door Key. Why do you have, does it have such a long name? Yeah, so there goes me clone. And I think I might know what this key's for. I'll just take a quick swig of my potion. In case any of you are wondering, yes, you can pick up more health potions as you play through the game. So I am not stuck here limited to three. However, there is things you can do through the game which will require you to give a potion to another person. And I'm not sure. With one of them, I do know one of the rewards you can get off him. But the other one, I am i don't know what the hell you'd get off him. Or them, I should say. So this is the Shard of Heroes as the person in that... It was in that note said that in one of these statues, you could place that in it, and it'll give you some. It, well, I think it'll allow you to respec a character, but if you do it during a boss fight, it will. Allow, the boss will, I think the boss will go and destroy it, and you can get a unique item out of it. What exactly were the lords? They wielded power beyond our understanding. Right, so with the, these two being here... ...blindly followed the guard. Anyone who tried to talk to them... These oh, okay. The lords did not come from oh. They came to serve ...to lead the Rogar army against the humans. This is full rogue armor. Right, so, I think that will be all for this episode. I will wait till the load screen comes out, so you can actually get a look at what the outside of the monastery looks like. To me, it I think it's really nice. It's really cool. If it's going to load... And it's loaded. So this is the outside of the monastery. So, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment down below if you want me to do a full series of this. I will do two episodes of this, by the way. So if you want me to do a full series, please leave that in a comment down below of this episode or in the next episode. So thanks again for watching. If you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.